Good evening, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for letting us be here. We're really excited to be here. My name's Kevin. My name's Alexi. So at its essence, what we're proposing here today is a large-scale urban wind turbine, this place between buildings to take advantage of the increased wind speeds there. Now, I know I'm speaking to a room full of brilliant engineers, so I'll spare you a physics lesson, but the basic principle here is called the Venturi effect. So the scientist Venturi in the 1800s found out that fluids, when flowing through a constricted space, speeds up. You guys may have noticed this. This is what causes rapids in a river. Um, as a Chicagoan, I know it because the buildings compress the air and it causes wind to speed up drastically. Now there are tests, there are wind tunnel testing, there's these advanced computational fluid dynamics equations that you guys probably know about that prove the Venturi effect is at work in cities. However, all you need to do is walk down any street in Chicago and have an umbrella ripped from your hands to know what the Venturi effect is. Now the reason why the Venturi effect is so compelling is because increased wind speeds dramatically increase energy production in wind turbines. So for instance, if you increase the speed by a factor of two, you're going to get an uh, increase in production by a factor of eight. So despite all the information that's already out there, and there is a lot, there's still a lot that we don't know, absolutely. And so by nature, this is truly a, an R&D proposal, a research and development proposal. There's a hundred questions that we can ask. What is the wind speed 15 stories up? Um, is the wind consistent enough to be tapped as an energy resource? And the bottom line, how much energy can be produced in these systems? Ultimately, we feel this is a tremendous opportunity for Arcadis to be at the forefront of emerging technologies. No one's done this. This could be ours. So existing wind technology is hugely important. And Arcadis is already heavily, heavily invested in existing wind technology. But it can definitely be improved, um, especially considering that people are migrating towards cities in mass. There are dozens of studies that show that people are moving from rural areas to urban areas. And when those people get there, they need energy. So cities need energy way more than the rural areas that you mostly see these wind turbines at. And the urban areas that they're moving to are well suited to handle this kind of technology. For instance, the migratory patterns of birds and uh, fish and whale that are usually a concern of wind technology out in the oceans or in rural areas, it's not an issue in cities. Those birds and whales have already been avoiding cities for millennia. Um, the sound levels, which can sometimes be a nuisance uh, in rural areas, that sound is completely drowned out by several, several levels by just ambient street noise. Um, well, also, uh, the use of um, urban scale turbines is even more effective for those cities who are actually striving to achieve a green identity. And in addition to that, a recent U.S. survey has actually shown that the visual appeal of the approval rating for these turbines lies in about the 95 to 97 percentile. So we understand that Arcadis is a global company and we wanted to make sure that our proposal was international in its scope. So after a lot of research, we found that there are several, several cities across the world that could benefit from this technology. They have the right combination of wind speed, density, and people. Because where there's people, there's a huge need for energy. Uh, in such countries such as the BRIC countries, Brazil, India, China, uh, the emerging uh, infrastructure can actually facilitate the use of these turbine systems as they grow into the cities. So I know we're showing a bunch of pretty pictures of what this could possibly look like, but we want you to know that that's not our proposal. We're not proposing to build this object and to get started tomorrow with our hammer and our paint. Uh, we're proposing a process. This is an R&D proposal. So we have a series of steps all the way from the initial testing uh, whether it be wind tunnel or whatever, uh, from through prototyping, through marketing, all the way through implementation, so that Arcadis can find out the answers uh, to this technology, to see if it's feasible, to see if we can drive this market uh, into the future. And the great thing about this is we wouldn't have to do this alone. Arcadis is already a leader in wind turbine technologies. Countless universities already study these sort of urban environments. And RTKL, I mean, we're already poised and ready to sort of pick up these design issues and tackle them and knock it out of the park. So, so what we have here is a really unique opportunity for Arcadis to poise itself on the forefront of an emerging market. This is a new technology that has not been explored. And Arcadis is primed to be at the forefront of this. What this would do is not only increase our visibility worldwide, but would introduce us to a brand new market sector that we haven't explored worldwide. We could offer more services to more clients around the world. In addition to that, it would allow us to not only advance our reputation as master engineers, but advance our reputations as stewards of the environment. Thank you guys very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.